hello guys hi how are you guys doing you're welcome back to my youtube channel i remain moments with b if you're new here please do not make it your last my name is blessing david yeah so um the owner of moments with b so i make content about motherhood you know pregnancy journey lifestyle everything in between food cooking everything vlogs this is what we do in this channel so guys um just in case you don't know what i've been up to lately i've been pregnant and i've been carrying you guys through my journey so far so um i've put to bed yeah i thought you guys the next video you'll be seeing is me you know i've already put it to bed okay so today i want to share with you guys um my bed video like my bed story my bed vlog so please do not touch that down Okay, welcome back guys so i finally given birth to my baby so here's the thing guys um i'll put some few clips there and use voice note to you know explain more to you guys hi guys hello welcome back to my channel so um by the time you're seeing this video baby is already here so today um prepping because i'm going to you know see my baby for the very first time okay so i was um booked for a CS session because i'm way past um, um 41 weeks getting to two weeks um 42 weeks but um i can't be induced because my previous bet was uh, i get back to c section i really wanted to give this a try again like I really needed, not that I really, I really wanted to push, you know, to have the experience and all of that. Reason why I waited this long. So you know, if you have CS like once, you can always push again. That's if you waited. That's the reason why I even waited three years to, you know, take him after my first boy, cause I wanted to, you know, give birth vaginally. Cause the first time when I had him CS. So still delayed labor, labor for so long as, and the weeks were past gone. So baby was already tired. So I had to do a CS. So this one is as if it's looking like the same thing. So they just had to book me to be safer. So I've already packed my hospital bags. So now I'm trying to um, get ready so I can go to the hospital and my baby, I'll be taking my son to my sister-in-law's place. So he will stay there till after everything till I get back home. So I'll be packing his bag as well. So you guys, next time you will be seeing me, you guys will be seeing me with baby. So I'll be taking you guys through the whole thing. I don't know if they will allow me to, I don't know. If I can video the hospital, I don't think they will allow phone in the theater and the red zone. But I'll just look for a way around it. Anyways, if I'm not able to, I'll just come and give you guys the OGs and the old recovery vlogs. So go nowhere, stay tuned. So guys, my bags are already packed. So I just got to the hospital That's here. I got admitted. And uh, yeah, we're just outside, you know, discussing before everything. Although I was scheduled for the next day. Well, I just had to be admitted a day before. So nothing much. We're just outside, you know, talking about the whole experience, how it's going to be and everything. And we're good to go. So in this video, my baby came through already. Yeah, so that's me and my baby over there just chilling and, you know, being so happy and being thankful. Yeah. So, um, I get back through CS, Caesarean section. Yeah. So, um, this is my second time put into bed. You know, I have a toddler already. I have a son of three years old. So, now, um, this is my second time. So, I get back to him through CS as well. 
um it was based on um delayed labor and um i labored for more than two days it was still 4 cm so and i was my due date was past gone so doctor was like cs immediately so i gave it to him through cs so this time around so looking at it's going to be the same thing or more i really wanted to experience vaginal birth because this was my only chance to experience vaginal birth you know if you give birth to cs once you're not allowed to um like okay you're allowed to push like have um bed through vagina the second time that's after you waited like one or two years that's the more reason why i waited this long to get pregnant for my second because i wanted to experience vaginal birth but god knows best but it's all cool i just wanted to have that experience yeah so um this second bed my girl that's my baby girl i get a baby girl yeah <laughs> So it was looking like it was going to be the same thing. I was past 41 weeks, no sign of labor. And I can't go for induction because once you've um, given birth to CS, you're not advised. It's not even advisable. Ask your doctor, be careful. As I said, after you've had a C-section, it's not advisable to have an induction. Not at all. Don't go for induction of labor. Ask your doctor, it is not advisable it will cause you problem your uterus or your womb might get damaged do not do it okay so i was um almost 42 weeks baby there was no sign of labor although she turned her head but there was no sign of labor and another thing my lab result and uh, my scan result the last one i did was like there's this last um um scan they'll ask you to do before you go into the labor room which is i think it's biography i think doctors in the house if i'm wrong let me know biography profile yeah that's what they call it so they asked me to do that and i saw they said um baby's cord was around or slash close to the neck so i was like is he already in the neck let me go doctor had to book me for cs just to be safe so i did it gladly um the most important thing is that baby and mommy they are safe and doing very well hmm. my dear there's no bet that is easy in fact I think, although I've not experienced vaginal birth, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah, nicely. <laughs> so I, um, I think cesarean section is the hardest way to give birth because I think uh, vaginal birth is even more easier because once you come out, you're okay. Your life, the next day, your life might continue even if you have it here, like two days, you're okay. But cesarean section, let me tell you guys a story. <laughs> when I got to the theater. <sighs> They administered epidural first it didn't work they had to mix it with the anesthesia everything it did not work it did not work we waited almost an hour it did not work it was almost an hour that it began to work the doctor they started using this injection this syringe to you know they were asking me are your legs heavy can you feel the pain i said my legs are not heavy yet i can feel the pain even this first cut the doctor said it was the first cut i was feeling i said it's paining me it was just i said it's paining me i can hear they had to wait they had to pump in pump into like 10 doses before it started working i was crying i was praying to god god please what is this immediately before you know i was gone i started hearing cries you know my baby Christ. i think they brought out the baby by then then another thing is that while they were stitching me up the combination started weighing off i started feeling pains again they were stitching me i was loved. i was like doctor i'm beginning to feel the pain again he said they are almost done they're almost done i had to bear the pain till they were done stitching me up i cried i prayed to god i was like one when i came out i was thankful i said god thank you so much thank you so much then the recovery stage <laughs> And one thing about CS is that even with the pains, you still need to stand up. You're not supposed to raise your head up. Else the headache, you can't even raise your head to see your baby. They have to carry your baby to you. It's heartbreaking. Please, it's a lot. Anybody that says that giving birth through CS is an easy, easy way out. You need to check yourself. Yes, you, you need to check yourself because there's no easy way out around here. Okay? So I had to force myself to get up because they said you have to get up and move. I think it helps with the healing. Even with the pains, I had to, I cried. I laid down, my mom cleaned my body, my sister-in-law, the nurses, everyone, they were helpful. I really do appreciate the people I have in my space. They were really, really helpful. And yeah, forget that. I'm still healing. No, I'm still healing. I'm still, my stitch and all, although they removed these, but I'm still 
on drugs and all but forget that i'm looking like this i'm looking all sharpy and the rest i'm still healing so guys um there's no bet that is easy at all i am grateful for everything i am grateful for my little one and guys i'm so happy i'm grateful ah this god is just too good because he just made a beautiful human with complete face legs hands and all so that was it guys so i'm really really grateful for everything thank you guys for you know uh, sticking with me throughout this journey and every journey in between yeah 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 so that's it guys my pink jet has landed don't worry more vlogs more vlogs more vlogs more vlogs more more vlogs yeah and uh a day in our lives you know night with a newborn all those don't worry i'll come to for you guys thank you so much for watching and please subscribe like share this video i love you guys so much thanks for staying